Hey guys, Michelle Ketterman back again. I hope this video finds you radiant, happy, thrilled, full of grace and hope and joy. I, I just hope this video finds you that way because I know that's how I am. Since my last video, several people have made some comments that kind of stuck with me. One of them was, gosh, I wish more people could could have seen your video, it maybe would have gotten more views if you were crying and had no makeup and, and seemed a lot sadder. And I thought to myself, why would I possibly do that? It's completely inauthentic. It's not how I feel. And more importantly, that's the old way of thinking. That's, that's the old mentality of cancer, or as some people would say, cancer, and the C word. That's the old mentality. And and there's a group of us, there's, a, there's people today that have this diagnosis that understand it's just a part of our journey. It's a part of our path. It's nothing to be completely freaked out about. And that we have a lot more effect on our physical self with what, what's up here, what we say, what we feel, and what we think. So people say, what's your secret? You have stage four pancreatic cancer. You have one of the deadliest cancers there is out there. And the statistics are very not good. And yet here you are, Michelle, so many months into your treatment, doing so much better than even the doctors expected. Even my physicians and my oncologists are blown away by my progress. And people say, what's your secret? What is it? Well, I approach it with a three-legged stool. So there's the physical part of it, which my oncologists and my physicians are taking care of. There's the food part of it, which I'll talk more on that later, but you know, everything stops and starts with the gut and that's so important. But then there's the spiritual and the mental part of it. And that's what I wanna talk about today. What are some of the secrets? I can tell you the absolute biggest secret to why I'm always happy. And by the way, it's not an act. It's I am happy. I wake up with usually every morning with one of a couple songs on my mind. That song by the Partridge Family, come on, get happy. I know I'm dating myself there, I know. And then the other one by the Beatles, love, 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 all you need is love. And when you wake up with those songs, you're always so happy anyway. But so let's talk about some of the things that I do that help me stay so positive, genuinely positive. And it's not just a matter of staying positive, it's I'm happy, I'm truly happy to the core of me. One of the biggest things that I do that a lot of people maybe don't, and unfortunately, some people don't understand that we have so much power with our thoughts and what we say. So a lot of people just don't understand. Well, I have what I call a diagnosis dictionary. And let me explain what that is. It's not like I wrote a book. It's not like I write it down. But I use words differently than other people. So for example, I don't have cancer. I have a diagnosis of cancer. I'm not owning cancer. I have a diagnosis. So we don't say my cancer, my sickness, my illness, my disease. We say my diagnosis. And everyone that I'm around, they understand that's the language that I use. This is a diagnosis. I have a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. Another one that I don't say is I don't say chemotherapy. I'm not having chemotherapy. I have treatment. And when I have treatment, I call that the elixir of life. I do. Because here's the thing. So many people, including me, anytime someone would say chemotherapy, what's the next thing that you say? It's poison. Ugh, it's so toxic. So think of how that makes you feel, and then you're putting all these toxins in your body. Why not flip in the switch, and it's the elixir of life. And my treatment is, I sit for five and a half hours, and they put, I have a port. So this is a port, and then it goes up through here into my jugular, and this is where they put my cocktail, my treatment cocktail, my elixir of life. So I have that for five and a half hours. But then I take this little box home that is on a fanny pack that's still connected to my port and that stays on for 46 hours. So if I were to say, oh, I have this poison that I'm pumping in my system for 46 hours, additional hours, that's a lot 
heavier than using the terminology which I use, which is, that's my power juice pack. That's my power juice pack. All of a sudden, that's my power juice pack and I'm feeling great because I'm not saying I'm pumping poison and toxins into my system for another 46 hours. Heck no, that's my power juice pack. That's full of the elixir of life and I'm gonna rock it. Now I understand that I spend those three days in bed. So if I didn't have the power juice box and that mentality and that outlook, those three days would be a lot, a lot different of an experience. We'll say that, we'll choose those words really wisely. But those, those three days would be just miserable. But because I have my juice pack and, and with my infusion of my elixir of life and my power pack, because that's what I have when I'm sleeping, I'm not sleeping or napping, I'm recharging and refueling and I'm letting my body absorb this power pack. So you can see the difference just in using the words. You know, another thing that people say is they say, oh, go kick cancer's ass, you're fighting cancer, you're a fighter, you're ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not fighting cancer. This diagnosis is in me, I'm not fighting it. All of my cells, because of the elixir of life and because of my power juice pack, all of my cells, they're just going back to their, to their natural and purest form. It's so much better to look at it that way, and it's so much lighter than to say I'm fighting cancer constantly. Oh, you can't even say fighting with fighting. And I don't say I'm struggling. If I'm having a difficult time with something, I'll say I'm working through it. Or I'll say, as part of my journey, I'm figuring this out. I'm figuring out the purpose for this and the reason for this. So much better than I'm fighting this and I'm struggling and ugh. The other thing that I think is so critically important is to figure out what is your mission. So if you say, gosh, I'm on my journey and this is just a part of my journey. This is, this is like walking on a path and there's a tree. That's, it's literally the same thing as that. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to digest it. I'm going to interpret it in my own way. But what's my mission? What is my mission with this diagnosis? So I really encourage anyone that has this or any sort of serious diagnosis, I really encourage you to think, what's your mission? What's your purpose? What good can come of this? Because I promise you a so many amazing good things can come of this. You have the ability, we all have the ability to change someone's life with something as simple as a smile or saying, gosh, that color looks amazing on you. So I really encourage you to start thinking of your own diagnosis dictionary and, and think about, and even if you don't have a serious diagnosis, maybe you just want another job or you want to be better in your marriage or you want to be a better parent or whatever the case may be. Think about changing the words that you're using and how you're using them and how you're thinking of them because that can change everything. If you think about it, when I go and I get my treatment or I have my power juice pack on, it's really easy to say, gosh, that's, you know, it, it it's upsetting. Sometimes I get I get sick and I throw up and sometimes I'm weak and I'm fatigued. Ugh. I can say that or I can say I'm in the process right now of saving my life. And the elixir of life and my power juice pack, that's those are life-saving things. And I encourage you to consider what are the things that you're doing that are that may seem like a struggle and a hurdle but they're actually saving your life or they're saving someone else's life or they're enriching someone else or they're making them happy. What are those things that you can do that you can change those? If you're driving and somebody cuts you off, are they a jerk? Or did you just have the privilege of allowing them to go in front of you because they have something more important to do or because they don't understand that you helped them out? If you, if you just change the simplest things and tweak them just a little bit as to how you look at them and how you view them, I promise you, whatever your situation, whatever your quote-unquote diagnosis, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual, relationship, business-wise, whatever it might be, material, if you change the definition 
of the words. Not only will you change your life, because I promise you drastically will, and you'll make your experiences better, more fulfilling, more memorable, and have a bigger ripple effect toward, with other people. Not only will that happen, you're going to feel in your heart and in your step, you're going to feel lighter and you're going to feel happier, which is going to give you more joy, right? Which is going to then spread like wildfire. And so I really, really encourage you when you say something and you think, oh, that makes me so mad. Stop right where you are right there and then think about how can you switch that? How can you look at that differently and redefine your experience? And by doing so, you're going to create a new experience and a better, lighter, happier, more long-lasting experience. Let's be really blunt here. Even if this diagnosis is terminal, which is what so many people use, and for me, terminal is where I catch my flight because nobody can tell me if I'm terminal or not. That's just goofy because I have my own dictionary and I have my own diagnosis, plus Every 14 days, I'm having the elixir of life pumped through me for 46 hours. That's amazing. But if you can do that and you can really change your outlook and how you look at things, it's going to make everything so much better. And even if, even if this whole thing ends next week, wouldn't you rather be happy between now and then, as opposed to drudging around, oh, I'm mad at everybody and everything sucks. Because everything doesn't suck and everything is amazing. And I promise you, and I'm making a lot of promises here today, guys, and I understand that and I acknowledge that, but I promise you there's such power and such control and such of your own life, and that's a good thing, there's such power and such oomph and having your own definition in the own in the words that you use. And then you can share those with other people. And if these people are supportive of you and what, what's best for you, they're going to respect that. So I can tell you, no one in my vicinity talks about statistics or says cancer or chemotherapy or fight. Nobody says that because they understand how important that is to me. And they see, they see that I'm up every day and that I'm putting makeup on every day. There's two days a month that I don't put my makeup on and that I don't get dressed, even when I'm in treatment. And that is the day between when they put my, my power juice box on, which is the Monday, and then they take it off on Wednesday. That Tuesday, you guys, it just doesn't happen for me. And that's okay too. Those are my rest days because again, I'm resting and my body is taking that life-saving elixir, right? And it's just turning all of my cells back to their most natural and purest form. And it's delicious and it's wonderful. So I don't even want to take any energy or any time to put makeup on or any of that because I've just focused so much on, on how the treatment is just taking hold and the power juice box is doing exactly what it's supposed to. And I'm going to leave you with a thought. It's just the same thought I always leave you with. Are you giving it the 100% absolute best that you've got? I, I want to remind you, the only thing we have guaranteed is this exact minute. Yesterday is gone. It's gone. Five minutes ago, they're gone. Tomorrow, we don't know. You don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if you're going to even want what you want today. But today, right now, is a definite, and I want you to give it the absolute best that you've got. Because I'm going to really encourage you that live your life so that when you put your head on your pillow every night, you can lie there and you can go, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I lived a good life. Today was great. I didn't say anything negative. I didn't negatively impact anyone. It was just a great day. And so I'm going to encourage you to do every single thing you can to give it the absolute best that you've got every single minute of every single day because I am. I am loving life right now. I am having a blast right now. And if I can do it just by tweaking a couple words and tweaking how I look at things and think of things, I think we all can do that too. So I'm gonna encourage you, give it the best that you got. And since I've been making so many promises during this video, 
I promise you, I'm going to continue to give it the best that I got. And I'm going to encourage the heck out of you to keep doing the same thing. So until next time, this is Michelle Ketterman. You can always reach me at michelleketterman.com or I'm on Twitter. Ketterman says, shout out to me, say hey. And if you have any questions about my experiences, what I'm going through, please email me. Let me know. I'll be happy to share those with you. But it, and my email is, is Mich what is my email? Chemo fog. That's what that's called. And I love that because then it's all misty and I have a visual of being out in the trees. Anyway, I digress. My email is findme at michelleketterman.com. And if you have any questions, email me, tweet me, text me. But until next time, I'm going to encourage you to start really, really thinking about what are the power words in your life and how can you take them up a notch? Because with a diagnosis dictionary, it's all good. And my dictionary, it I'm always updating it. And I'm always thinking, what's another way we can say that to make it even more amazing? So that's what I encourage you to do. And until next time, Michelle Ketterman, signing off. Have a fantastic day.